Back. Thank you so much for staying tuned in. Well, let's get you some macro updates then. And India's August rate deficit widened, crossing $29 billion. This is more than what we recorded in July or even in August in 2023. When you take a look at exports, then exports declined in over the previous month to $34 billion. While when you take a look at imports, hit an all-time high. Up to $64 billion is what the figure was in terms of imports. Services exports stood at over $30 billion. While when you take a look at imports, they were at $15 billion as well. So that really is what August trade deficit data is indicating. And that largely is the kind of handover that we have. When you take a look at what brokerages had to say then, Goldman Sachs is talking about how this is a 10-month high on increased gold imports. And that is something that Goldman Sachs flagged. When you take a look at what BOFA flagged, they're talking about how gold as well as intermediate imports drove a surprise as well. And in terms of the services surplus, they're talking about how that is going to be growing as tourism increases as well. So that's the word coming in from BOFA. Lastly, let's take a quick look at what Nomura also had to say about this. Because they're talking about how the trade deficit also widens amid turbulence in exports. And that is something that they highlighted. In addition to higher gold imports and weak exports. And that is something that also made it to Nomura's ra uh, radar, Cheryl. All right, so that's all about the trade gap and uh, something that we all need to watch out for very closely. And it's been. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.